Yo, yo, what's the vibes? Back with another video. Yeah. Alright, this morning's video, I just seen when I woke up, Tory Lanez responded to the Megan Thee Stallion allegations of the shooting. Oh man, goddamn. Let's get into it. Okay, I seen he dropped a song called Money Over Fallouts. I listened to it about maybe three times this morning. So I got a pretty good grasp of uh, what was said on the record. Uh, I noticed he mentioned uh, about the shooting in the foot and not hitting no bones or tendencies and stuff like that. So basically he's alluding to the fact of this being uh, a hoax or a lie to slander his character or his name in the media which has been done but uh he also said in the record that it hasn't affected his sales on spotify or other streaming platforms and whether it has or not it definitely affected his fan base you know he definitely lost female listeners but they'll be back because music is music you know you make a hot song people are going to listen to it regardless if they like you or not they'll have their opinion on you but music is music generally. We know that. But from also in the response, he said a few more things about like real estate and different things. And you know, these kind of things happen when you're a celebrity, right? If people are renting to you and things happen in the media and they see it, they might be less likely to do business with you or continue to do business with you and you know as a human you know we're thinking you know people will look at us for uh that aspect but not all the time man you know these people are celebrities you know what i mean so i heard him mention some stuff about you know his real estate or i guess where he's living or whatever in the record you know you guys gotta go listen to the record you guys gonna know what i'm talking about you know what i mean i just found that kind of a little bit funny but uh me personally, man, I think this, like many other uh, situations that happen with celebrities, especially young celebrities, is just another distraction. Keeping it honest, because I also seen that along with that song came a whole list of songs. It's like he almost dropped a mixtape. <laughs> I'm thinking it's just one song. I see the artwork for the cover or whatever it is, and I see a whole list of songs. So I'm like, okay, wait, so you drop the tape? perfect timing you know me personally i'm waiting to hear megan's response i hope it's not done over instagram live or over twitter or any of these uh social media sites but i would like to hear an actual song you know what i mean going back and forth you know keep it on wax you know what i mean this doesn't need to be nothing you know involving violence or anything like that you know it should be kept on wax you know we all are listeners you know what I mean? This is uh, music. So I think it's a very weird situation. You know, we're definitely going to hear more about it as times go on. But uh, that's my uh, my understanding of it so far. I don't really dig deep into this stuff, man. This stuff is just like, you know, a bit comedic to me, you know. And I, it should be to you guys too, man. It's the entertainment business. It's not your real life, you know. But this is just another video. Y'all know the vibes, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Peace.